Hey, Call of Duty South Africa, how are you doing? Hey, well, I lost both. I think my last video was in March this year, which is a lot of the time. So clearly, I didn't have to cut you out too much over the last what, seven seven months or so. Anyway, um, we've just ended Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. What a struggle that was. Um, game started out perfect, you know, it was, it was brilliant, it was nice, it was new, it was different. But at the end of the day, all the, as Audio actually told me yesterday, um, getting into the gunfights and people flying away uh, became annoying eventually, you know. Um, anyway, that's done. We've had a good year. All things considered, we went over to a new console. Obviously, it's a new a brand new Call of Duty as well and not knowing what the year was what, what wasn't in line for us this year I mean start of the year we took a massive dip because God Champs was obviously denied um, the Wings had a shot at um, my if you still play we continued because that's one tournament one tournament that's what I must put this way now um, that's one tournament you know but Big things don't happen for us locally. Um, as you can see, if you look behind me, they, they, that's actually something I won um, from Andrew for about four days, five days ago. Crazy thing is, I've just been getting really lucky with these competitions of met and so shout out to Andrew and Rebu, um for obviously for the prize itself. Um, I got it the very next day. I mean, Andrew knows he dropped it off at my offices and everything. So big ups to Andrew. And um, yeah, so I mean, this is one example. It's we are getting noticed for what we do. Um, Red Bull is involved with Andrew, and it, so in a way that also similar to what Nature brought Red Bull to Optic, um, and Flamesword brought, brought Red Bull to Optic. Not a lot of people know Flamesword was actually under Red Bull's banner before Nature was even um, under the banner. But anyway, um, that being said. We grew a hell of a lot this year. Uh, we may not have had millions of tournaments, but we've had one, two, three, three pretty big ones, you know. Um, not in prize money status, but I mean, for the fact of the exposure that we got from the tournaments themselves, the EGE was massive. Um, it was so successful uh, from Zombie Gamers' point of view that next year EGE will definitely have a massive esports component um, that is going to happen in July next year so there's already one big lab that we know we're going to have. Um, DGL this year uh, was a bit of a struggle you know and teaching the guys or trying to inform the guys about how admin heavy DGL is. That's out of a task. Um, it's not going to be easier next year. They are changing the site. There are going to be a couple of changes uh, what's now known as the Digital Gaming League instead of the Blue Gaming League. That's just a bit of a restructure from the Telcom branding point of view. Um, but there are also going to be some changes to the way it's run. And um, the DGC itself may not even end up being at the range at the end of the day. It could be an event completely on its own because they are well aware. I mean, putting us in the dungeon that we're in takes away a lot of the respect, take the value to the game itself. I mean, we can't always stream 100% and our streamers for that weekend was Kai and Chucky and they were brilliant. They did, I mean, they were at the venue from 9 o'clock in the morning till 11 o'clock at night for the, for the two days of the tournament, which is it's a hell of a lot of time for just two people to talk. You know, for EGE, we were at EGE for six, seven hours a day and um, even then, with us rotating uh, between myself, Alden, Chutney, and Kai, even the rotating through that time, um, through, the, through those time slots, it was still a strength. So, big ups to Chutney and Kai for, for, for going and doing what they did, even with all the problems that they had with their particular setup. Because honestly, that is still something that we, we've got to try and get into the heads of. Of let's say the PCR and take the people is that we're still being treated like state children and 
Tarzan was the biggest money spinner in gaming in South Africa. That's a prize award our school for reference. Uh, I'm not, I'm not thumb, thumbs up in that numbers. It was bigger than PC. And it's time that they start realizing that, you know, stop treating us like with the bad kids. Uh, these ways that we run tournaments and do tournaments, try and stick to that as close as possible because that's what we understand, that's what we know. Um, you, can't you can't tell the people that play rugby to go to the rugby world cup and the right to play rugby sevens rules or rugby league rules. It doesn't work like that. You play something, you play to the format locally and internationally. And that brings me to the next topic. Earlier in the year we had a PS4 Black Ops 3 beta. And this was held by the wonderful gentleman that made the wrong, Jason and uh, Graham. Uh, they put this together, they flew me up. Invited some of you guys from the community to come and play as well. Um, to get our, you know, get our hands on it was the open beta itself. Um, we thought we would be getting a different code of the game. Um, something similar to what was available at Rage. Unfortunately, that never panned out. Uh, Activision are very strict on it. Um, if you actually had a chance to play the the beta um, or play that, it was the actual game that you were playing at Rage. If you got a, had an opportunity to get into that um, that booth, uh, there was a guy standing there. He was a Danish guy, I think. Um, he works with esports Dubai, and he is one of the very few people trusted with copies of the deck to go around the world and show it off at all these various expos. Um, like that guy left, basically he left there and he went to the Paris Games Week. He went to go sit up for the Paris Games Week. Um, that in its own is mega was bringing the Activision world a lot closer to us. And this little small event that they put on actually gave us more access to a publisher than we've ever had before and we hope to, to, to build on this relationship um, not just with the community itself but with the tournament organizers and I mean they're the people that should be sitting down talking with Activision and not Activision itself but with Megaron to ensure that we get the type of support that we like or that we need I'd say you know uh, I'm not saying that they must inject money and throw money at us and like, all these things Ming and I have done a hell of a lot behind the scenes, they don't always get the recognition um, but they have done a hell of a lot to ensure that we have first class products in the country I mean, if we go to evil points that you know today we can pick up a scuff controller which the kid has on his own the control freaks as well as the asteroids as you can see in the picture here there, there and there these, so these are products that, that Ming and I have have helped bring into the country, you know, and it's a it's a it's a massive thing that shows that they they, they believe that there is a there's an esports component willing to back in this country. And that brings me to my main topic. Why do they want to back us? Because in in the end of the day we can in turn sell the games that we play. We provide longevity for the games we play. The map packs become relevant, all the add-ons for the game itself become relevant. Um, esports is, is fast becoming one of the leading aspects of console gaming or gaming in general. Um, whether you like it or not, everybody plays a game and they compete with someone else. Um, if you think about it, before you go into Call of Duty first person shooter, you probably play FIFA or a racing game. And all of that concept, all of those games, the concept is the same. There's always a winner, there's always a second place, you know. Um, and that's what eSports does. Uh, brings a traditional game and it gives it more of a format itself. Um, it was like going to public lobby, just going for a kickabout in the park, playing um, the arena, as it's now called, um, which was gameplay or league play before. Um, it's now called the arena. Um, that was basically you putting on your soccer boots and going onto a soccer field with your team to go and play. Um, esports is the professional version of that. And slowly but surely, the world is catching on to, was catching on to this. And I mean, the gaming industry in South Africa has already been 
compared to it's actually bigger than the music industry. And that's a fact that the publishers and the stores and everybody else, they know, they know, they know that we can work with them to create a better gaming environment around South Africa so you know and this is a bit long winded but I just want to kind of tell you I just want to thank me girl for allowing us to have the opportunities that we do have I mean, we are on par with most of the third world countries with regards to Call of Duty when we get it when we get the releases um, okay there is a bit of a if up now right now with the old PlayStation free download story, but I mean that's something we can still can you go and Activision. Um that they've got to sort out and it's it's, it's annoying. Uh, it is especially with our type of internet that we do have. But anyway back to the main point. Um I'll be eleven minutes in now I'm gonna go for a few more minutes on this video. Um community After the DGC, which was the last tournament that we had, it was amazing sight to see how everybody was. Someone actually put a dick riding each other, but it was more respectful show after the tournament than anything I've ever seen before. And for for me, that is, that is the end game. You know, that is something that we want. We want to have that respect, respect your competition. Congratulations to us that they cleaned the floor, they what they do, everybody they played. And Ventus has come back in the last, I'd say the last competitive game for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. It was a good testament to show how far we've come. They've, they, they pushed and they pushed Astra and unfortunately they just ran out of gas. It was, it was a steep ask for them. And um, yeah, well done, Alton, Lithium, Cerberus and Mohammed, oh, <laughs> Mohammed, so I mean, um, all done, guys. You, you deserve the title, and it was something I told Dylan or I messaged you guys earlier in the year. Was, you guys just needed the one W to push on, and all done, you do not sponsor Black Control Freak. Ta da! Well done. Okay, so, stupid facts in the community. We need to get that cut out. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't have time for people who moan about cuck and go on about cuck. I just, either I'll just unfollow you or, or block you. I won't even bother muting you. You know, I'm just gonna unfollow you. Um, I've unfollowed a couple of people, one real stupid troll, well, a couple of stupid troller. Just unfollow them. They're, they're irrelevant to me, especially in what they try and do, um, what they've achieved so far. They're irrelevant. So 90% of the time, it's the people that aren't even directly involved in what we're doing or in the successes of what we do that are causing cuck. You know, these people, they obviously realize they're irrelevant, so they try to make themselves heard. But anyway, um, I don't even have words for them. Going forward, PS4, moves a change for the controller. I mean, Compare that to that. Land was completely different. But the PS3 guys came over to Xbox 360, went through a similar a similar change. Maybe it's a bit closer now because the PS4 controller is a bit bigger than the PS3 controller was. But I mean in the day it's obviously still a shift and trying to find a shot. It would most probably take two or three weeks some cases even just a week and you'll be able to get back on point back on back get, get your get your shot back quite literally but i'm excited um being a playstation first player um to be honest i i never competed on xbox i just came over to xbox i never competed the last call of duty was one of the three that i actually competed on and yeah, and that's where I've stopped. Um, I played, obviously, I played with everybody on um, on the Xbox itself. And played at lands on the Xbox and things like that. But seriously, though, my, my competitive days stopped at 1 over 3. What I can say is, 
beanbag on PlayStation opens us up or gives us access to a lot more things. I'm not going to give you the numbers, but it, it's, it's quite a bit. It's, you can pr probably fill a stand at Athlone Stadium, Soccer Stadium. You can fill one stand on the amount of people um, that do play on PlayStation. PlayStation 4, I should say. And um, obviously, it's Black Ops 3 that we're going to be playing. It's <laughs> the epitome, epitome of COD Esports. Because the first chance we went to was on, on COD, well, it was the first World Champs was on, on Black Ops 3. Um, Modern Warfare 3 I had a COD XP tournament, which was a stupid kill confirm type of thing. Anyway, um, all I want are all I want is patience. Patience from the players. Get into the game, enjoy the game. Let me worry about talking to the right people for now. Um, everything I do, I don't do it for me, I don't do it for my team, I do it for the community. And I'm here to help, and if I can speak to this one, and get team to speak to that one. That is what I do. I can't do it more more than anything else, you know. Um, if I can speak for the community, to the tournament organizers, to the publishers, or whoever's involved, you know. Um, I look at Evo Points, for example. They now are a dedicated eSports e store. Anything to do with eSports for first person shooters, you, you should have never looked at eSports. E Evil points that's here, that's here. I almost said it's eSport points now. Evil points that's here, that's here. Um, they've got the scuff controllers, they've got Astros is landing in November. Um, and to be honest, guys, their price is as close to the American price as you ever can get. Um, I helped a lot of people get it um, through my brain. Um, and the pricing that they paid for it is pretty much what as what um, equal points is charging for it. So having that and the and the I'd say the security or the not the presence of mind, but the peace of mind, peace of mind of actually just being able to send it into the key and him getting it back to the states for them to sort something else, which it's not really an, even an issue. You can actually just contact him directly. Um, this cable, the mute cable. When I got my one last year, uh, I don't know what happened, but it was a faulty one. And I messaged them, and within seven days, they shipped, they shipped me a brand new one. Um, I still got the old one, one of my drawers here, but anyway. Um, I'm going to make a video about all the stuff over here still as well. Um, so I don't really want to touch on it, but yeah. So, we've got an eSports store. We've got, oh, hashtag. Hashtag Pong, which is myself, Swally, and Cold Cat. There we go. Um, the three of us, myself and Swally, came up with that idea a few years ago. We actually made the M Wave jerseys and the X Stairs jerseys, and X Stairs went to God Champs. <laughs> so, Hashtag has actually been to God Champs already. Um, tomorrow morning, or this morning, whenever this video is going to be uploaded, um, we're launching our website. We want you guys to go and have a look and see what we're doing. I mean, for us to act professional, I don't know if you've ever heard this, you are as successful as you dress or something like that. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is, if you look the part you'll be on, um, hashtag has always dressed wings, funnily enough, fear insane from last year, which is MGMS and DGC from 2014, and obviously Astra now with DGC and MGMS. Um, they all won the tournaments with the hashtag stuff. Uh, yeah, so what are we gonna do? I want you guys to put your concerns down when us moving over to PlayStation. Put your concerns down in the comments. Let me know what worries you or even what ang angers you, you know. Um, for this next Call of Duty season, I don't want to cut you out me. I want to talk to you. I want us to work things out together. Um, 
leaders, be constructive in what we do. If there are things that we need to sort out in the community itself, we don't need to air out dirty laundry, so to say. But what I can say is, be excited. I'm tired, so this is my excited question, I'm tired. Um, be excited. It's Monday night now, in four days, four nights time. Black Ops 3 is here, it's a minute to 12. Everything is just going off here. Guys, look off yourself, 20 minutes, 21 minutes into this video. I will be back late in the week to discuss these products and also just some other things in general. Um, hopefully I can touch on some of the comments that you put in here. Remember, what pisses you off? Let's talk. You got knocked the fuck out, man! Give me my goddamn money!